So, we had some tigers delivered to our house yesterday. But before you get too excited about it and call the Coast Guard or Devon Wildlife Trust, they're actually tiger worms and we're going to use them to make vermi fertiliser, a solid one and a liquid one. And I'd like to share with you how we're going to do that. So Henry made this uh, vermi compost unit for me um, and the drawers have uh, holes drilled in the bottom so that the liquid that I'm going to make can drain through into the one at the bottom, at the bottom, which is solid. Now, at the beginning, when I don't have very much vermicompost, we will need to put this at the top. So I'm going to put it at the top here and explain to you how to set one up. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a piece of newspaper across the bottom so that the bedding doesn't fall through those holes. And this bedding is just compost that we've made in the normal way, uh, which is another story. So I'm just going to put some of this in the bottom here. Do you want to have a look? And spread it out. a thin layer and then these are the tiger worms that came in the post yesterday you can see they're also in compost it's probably actually worm poo um, because that's actually what we're going to collect the, although this is called vermicompost it's not actually compost it's fertilizer so it's solid fertilizer it is actually worm poo that we intend to build up um, because poo equals fertilizer so let's tip this in I've got 500 grams of worms here and oh there they are look at that absolutely lovely Woohoo! so I'm now just going to spread them out oh look at them they're gorgeous all alive oh lovely now, my little darlings, you've been in the post for a few days and I expect they're hungry. Now, when you feed tiger worms, what you must not do is feed them too much. Wait until they've fed on what you've given them before you give them any more. And it's basically just kitchen waste. So here we've got um, some of the runner beans that didn't win the um, first prize at the produce show this year, they're a bit old and manky, and I've chopped them up. I've also got some eggshells here um, and some manky tomatoes. So um, I'm just going to mix that all up. The eggshells are useful because um, they will help provide the calcium needed for the worm casts, the eggs the worm eggs and um, legume waste is also very nice because it's got protein in it um, for making babies so let's sprinkle this on here's your breakfast just going to sprinkle it on like that all over and uh, that will actually be enough for the time being going to just let them settle in and see how that goes. It's possible that there might be too many worms for this tray here and I'll see how quickly they um, eat up this breakfast. I'll feed them every time the food disappears and not before. What you don't want to do is to fill this up with loads and loads of food because you want to be nice to them because that's absolutely the wrong thing to do. It will then really compost like it does in a compost bin. That's not what we're doing. We're producing um, worm poo. So after, after, let's say, three or four weeks, you might find that the level of black stuff 
worm poo has gone up to halfway up this tray. Um, at that time, you could start to dribble in small amounts of water, you know, um, half a cup of water, and it will drain through all these um, uh, drawers into um, the reservoir underneath. Um, I'll give you an update later. Um, but in the meantime, the other thing that you can add to, um, if you're in the greenhouse, you can add to the um, wormery is um, the odd uh, leaf that's got holes in it um, that you're not going to eat um, because I'm sure that they will like those and it's a good use of um, vegetation from the greenhouse. Um, the other nice thing about having a vermicompost unit actually in your greenhouse is that it will produce a lot of carbon dioxide and next year when the tomatoes are in full swing um, the enriched carbon dioxide will make the tomatoes even bigger and hopefully um, there'll be a first prize for the tomatoes in the 2021 Big Green Produce Show. Anyway, um, nice to talk to you again.